Butter? Yeah. Of course we got candy. Thank God for that. <laughs> uh, my friend, we don't want to change him. We don't want a cowboy with no cows. <laughs> we don't need a president who can't hear. We don't need a president every time he touches his nose he gets cancer. <laughs> <laughs> For six years, you've been selling the Iraqi and the Iranian arms. Six years! So why do you want to stop it now? <laughs> he says they were selling it because they were making money. So why do you want to stop the war now? What right have you got in the Gulf? The Americans, Reagan decides we're going in the Gulf. What's the matter with you? Anywhere in this world, there is an internal or a family dispute, the Americans are there. <laughs> <laughs> Russia has internal disputes. Why don't you go? <laughs> They're gonna bust your ass. <laughs> And you tell me you're civilized. 
you a bunch of uncivilized <coughs> bastards. <laughs> and please, don't get angry when I call you a bastard. Because when I came to this country 15 years ago, I didn't speak any English. And as I walked the streets of London, everybody said to me, you black bastard, you black bastard. I thought they meant, welcome to London. <laughs> You love us, don't you? I mean, you got. I mean, look, look around the world today. Every nation who lost the last war are better off than the people who won the war. Japan is better off than you economically right now. West Germany is economically better than Britain. You know what we've learned from that? I will call all the black leaders together. We will declare war on America. You will win, but you bastards will come and help us all over again. <laughs> because you're stupid. Aren't you? Aren't you stupid? How do you know? <laughs> See, you don't understand the subtlety of the English language, my friend. <laughs> See, your, your people, your loud mouth. You've got the biggest mouth in the world. That's why the hamburgers are so big. <laughs> when you're not eating hamburgers, you've got chewing gum. <laughs> and every time I look at an American, chewing, chewing gum. And I look at a cow, chewing its cud. I can tell the difference. I see the intelligence on the cow. <laughs> can I hear you? I'm gonna take your sister and give her the banana. <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to go back on a banana boat. I never came to England on a banana boat. <laughs> when I came, I came with B-O-A-C. <laughs> you know what B-O-A-C meant when I saw it in my country? British Overseas Asian Carriers. So I came. <laughs> <laughs> Too many of us came. They changed the name to B-A. <laughs> Begin again. <laughs> You see, the English are stupid. <laughs> Those of you who are English, put your hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tell me, how does it feel to be a minority in your own country? <laughs> my brother. Oh, you are my brother. Oh, yes, you are. My father was a sailor, you look like me. <laughs> I am not leaving England. <coughs> None of my people are leaving England. If you don't like it, piss off. <laughs> we are here to stay. Look at your royal family. I know a lovely woman, the queen, you know where she comes from? The house of Hanover, not Shepherd Bush. <laughs> Hanover is in Germany. Now you see where Hitler used to get the information from. <laughs> and that's an intelligent woman. She married a Greek. <laughs> not an Englishman. You can't do that. <laughs> You got your little sausage? <laughs> Every time you drink two Guinness, and look at Guinness. 90% black, one little bit white. <laughs> what will you do without us? Black coffee, you don't like white. You don't put milk. Tea, you don't add milk. What will you do without us? But that woman you have the queen, as long as she's queen here, I will stay here. She married a Greek, doesn't like Englishmen. Princess Alexandra married a Scotsman, doesn't like Englishmen. 
Princess Margaret married an Irishman, doesn't like Englishmen. Princess Anne, she married a horse. <laughs> And all of you bankers <laughs> running around paying your taxes to keep foreigners in Buckingham Palace. <laughs> and when you go to Buckingham Palace to see the Queen, there are two English policemen says, walk along. You can't even stand and watch in the palace. But an Irishman was clever. He jumped over the fence, went to the Queen's bedroom at 2 o'clock in the morning. Where was Philip? He was with the boys in the basement. <laughs> there was this Irishman sitting, talking to the Queen. Two o'clock in the morning. You better pray to God that it wasn't a black man, because we don't talk when we're in your bedroom. <laughs> But don't worry, there is still hope for us. Princess Margaret's daughter is 19. She goes to school in Oxford. There are a lot of black students there. Give us time. One day she will come home and says, Mommy, guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> When we put the black man in Buckingham Palace, Englishmen will walk around the streets, demoralized, and they will end up talking to themselves. And you know what they will say? How can she do that to me? <laughs> Nothing to do with you. She's enjoying it, and you're having heartaches. <laughs> the English are stupid. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. Why are you gone so quiet? Don't, don't you believe me? I don't know. Have you ever been to the British Museum? No. You have. Well, you must go there and tell me what is in there that is British. <laughs> Yet you've got the cheek to call it the British Museum. You went all over the world stealing our precious things. You brought it here. You put it in there, and you call it the British Museum. Keep it, curry. We get to the no more. When we give you curry, you'll get shittings for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? They don't like curry now. And last year, a vote was taken, and the two most, the most food, the type of food that is being sold, are Chinese and Indian, not English. What is your food? Egg and chips? Sausage and chips? Bangers and mash? Two egg and chips? Two sausage and chips? Is that your food? Even the potato you steal from Ireland. And the fish you steal from the Norwegians. And the Chinese sells it to you in Italian newspapers. Even that is not yours. You see, if the white man didn't come to Africa, and if you didn't steal the African gold, all you women will be divorced tomorrow if we took it back. Can you imagine if you didn't have gold? How would you be identified as being married? See how stupid you are? <laughs> you take our tea, you take everything we have, you went to Africa, gold and diamonds. You went to India, tea and silk. You went to China, porcelain. You went to the Middle East, oil. You came to the Caribbean, sugar. You didn't go to Iceland, too much fucking ice. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought it all here. And now you're telling me to go home? This is home. <laughs> when we were growing up, we were told by the British administrators, England is your mother country. Anytime you want to come home, you're delighted to do so. Now we've come home, mommy doesn't like it. Well, you leave. <laughs> we staying right there. Any questions? <laughs>
Come on. When you look at me, 